The Texas border city of El Paso is grappling with a mounting humanitarian crisis as a Trump-era policy hangs in the balance, leaving many migrants unsheltered in the cold night. Title 42 gives the government the power to automatically expel undocumented migrants. It has blocked thousands of people from crossing the US-Mexico frontier. The policy was due to expire on 21 December but has won a temporary reprieve from the Supreme Court. On Monday, Chief Justice John Roberts temporarily blocked its termination pending a ruling on an emergency appeal from some Republican-led states who have asked for the policy to remain in place. The Biden administration on Tuesday asked the Supreme Court to ignore the Republican-led request to keep Title 42 in place, arguing that it can no longer be justified but it also asked the court to delay the ending until at least December 27 to prepare for an influx of migrants. If the administration gets what it wants, the policy will expire on 27 December. The court's intervention, however, has meant little on the streets of El Paso, where shelters and humanitarian services have already been overburdened and weary migrants left sleeping rough in bitterly cold nights. In central El Paso early on Tuesday afternoon, Dozens of migrants were at the city's main Greyhound bus terminal, including women and young children sleeping on the pavement, while the majority were Nicaraguan and Venezuelan, citizens of countries throughout Latin America were present as well.